Good afternoon. My name is John Gruneisen. I am the sales rep for Bullier Pack in the Midwest area in general. In general, some of our products will have a temperature rating on them of what not to exceed. Now that's generally trying to just cover ourselves some, from scenarios because we don't necessarily know the amount of products it's going to be mixed with, the exact temperature that somebody's going to be spraying. But in general, our products are pretty darn safe to spray. Um, what I would generally say is use common sense. If you think it might be a problem, maybe don't do it especially if you're planning on putting it with a bunch of other products. Products all have a salt index to them. The higher the salt index, the more products in the spray, the more potential issue you will have when spraying, specifically with tip burn. Now that said, we generally go out of our way to take into account salt index of our products, and we generally have a very low salt index with most of our products, meaning they're very safe and they don't pull water out of the plant. But I would say the, the best thing to do is use common sense. If you're worried about it, maybe choose a different day or lower your amount of products in the tank. So armament in, it, in its technical form is an amino acid polymer, lots of negative charges. It pulls in positive charges. Most of the nutrients we care about are cations or positive charges. Simplest way to put it, Whenever I have uh, specifically a lawn care customer ask me, how do I explain this to homeowners? I say, look, it's like a super duper crazy intense magnet on insane steroids, pulling in all the nutrients we care about and keeping them plant available. That product would be growing. It's a six way combination product for us. It really hits all of your bases. Uh, with the goal that you're trying to do of really push blooms. And the rate we usually recommend would be two gallons per 100 gallons of spray solution. And most folks will apply it in what we call a spray drench to runoff. So the top two most pro problematic soil issues that we solve, it's really kind of one in the same somewhat, and even in lawn care and golf, it's kind of one in the same because we're really talking soil, okay? So those two things I would say would be buffering and nutrient availability or protection, both of which are being accomplished mostly within our product line through armament. Armament is again, through those negative charges, going to be protecting nutrients, keeping them plant available. It's also gonna be buffering or a fancy word for stopping something bad. Uh, from bad guys like bicarbonates, chlorides, sulfites, uh, carbonates, okay? So it's gonna be out competing those from locking up nutrients. So it's really kind of one and the same. It's nutrient availability on one end, and it's also buffering or out competing the bad guys on the other end, both of which are being accomplished through armament and its hefty set of negative charges and its size. 